Here we are, buddy. The 1980s. So you say you watched Garfield's Halloween Adventure, right? Yes, that's what I said. And you say you have a huge critic, right? Yes. And what is that? Well, it's about the ghosts. Really? Yes, really. That's that's just bull talk. I mean, thinking that ghosts are real, that that's just bull talk. Do you know what I mean, man? Seriously. Well, just because we can't see the ghosts doesn't mean we can't believe in them. You know what I mean, brother? I'm just saying, okay? The guy was a hundred years old. How did he how did he drag the boat with the candy out out into the river? Whatever. Oh, I don't know, Mom. This comic book that I'm getting is $2.99, and I only have $3, so I guess I'll have to use it all, and after that, I'm broke. Don't worry, Fritz. I'll tell you what, you can do some chores tomorrow, and I'll give you some money. Okay, Fritz? <sighs> okay. Hi, ladies. Hi, Fritz. Hi, Mom. Hi, Fritz. Hey, what's wrong, Fritz? It's hard to say this, but I'm broke. I spent on something that's like $2.99 at the bookstore, and I only had $3. Hmm. I see, son. But what'd you spend it on? Well, all I got was this. Oh, wow. A superhero That's comic. That's very neat, Fritz. But if I want some money now, I'll have to do chores tomorrow. Don't worry, Fritz. I promise I'll give you some cash when you're done with the chores, buddy. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Mom. But when I get some cash, I'll have to save it up if I want to get something good. You do what you want, Fritz. All right, Mom. All done. I vacuumed the living room, the dining room, and the hallway, just like you said. Then I mowed the front lawn and the backyard. It was a pretty tough job, but it was worth it. Very good, Fritz. So now I owe you ten dollars. And tonight, we're heading down to Hot Shots and the bowling alley in Pismo. Sweet. Man, are you excited, Fritz? Yup, I am.
Isn't this awesome, ladies? Yeah. Could have been better. I agree. And you know what people say, no matter where life takes you, we'll always put smiles on our faces. And I'm glad I have a smile on my face, because, you know. I love this night. Nothing more like it, Fritz. Oh, uh, Mom, can I ask you something? Yes, Fritz? So, um, when are we going to the bowling alley? We'll go when your father finishes playing billiards, Fritz. I'm already done, babe. Oh, you already finished, Buzz? Hmm, I guess we're heading out to the bowling alley now. Alright then, it looks like we're ready too. Let's go bowling. Now that my game is over, whose final turn is it to finish this off? I'm already finished. Me too. Me three. Me four. That's strange. If all five of us finished our games but there's only one turn left, I wonder whose final turn is it? It's my final turn. Well then, since this is your final turn, Fritz, why don't you finish this off? Okay. Here it goes. I won! Man, I can't believe I won! I know, Fritz. You're up in flames tonight. I agree. Hey, Fritz, can I ask you something? Go ahead, Dee Dee. Have you ever heard of the Mad Bummer? Mad Bummer? Who's that? Well, we don't know who it is, but I was listening to the radio this morning saying that a Mad Bomber was on the loose. This Mad Bomber you tell me, is he or she planning to bomb this whole town? If that's true, Fritz, then I'm afraid so. Ooh, that's scary. Very scary. Hi, buddies. Oh, uh, hi, parents. <laughs> you called us parents, because, uh, you know. Anyway, you ready to head back? I am, because I'm very, very tired, and it's getting very, very late. Alright then, Dad. If you want to go home now, then let's go.
Man, mad bummer. It just makes me hung up, strung out, and uptight. Yup. I mean, what would we do if the bummer came to our house? Let me tell you something, Fritz. When I was eight, a gang of mobsters broke into my house and started mowing down my family with bullets. But I managed to escape. But I still miss my parents. That sucks. That happened to me too. But it was a gang of thugs who stabbed my family into the backs. It's very lucky that I managed to escape. Hi, Fritz. Hi, girls. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what do you think, Fritz? Are you kidding? I mean, look at this car. It's just like the poster that I have on my bedroom wall. It's very, very, very cool. Would you like to go for a spin? Oh my god, yes, I would love to. Well, ladies, I'm going for a ride with my mom, so I'll see you later.
Thanks for the spin, Mom. You're welcome, Fritz. I think it's time that we head off to bed now. But it has been fun today, Fritz. Yeah, it has, Mom. Anyways, we'll be in bed in a few minutes. What's up, ladies? What's up, Hi, Fritz? Hello, Fritz. So, how was the ride? Oh my god, it was awesome. I really, really loved it. Well, guess what, Fritz? To cheer you up more, we're going to see Vola in two weeks. It starts on Friday the 18th. Really? Yup, Fritz. And for the song Napalm, there's going to be someone flying for, like, you know, the 50 strings part. Oh, man, I bet that's going to be awesome. Anyways, I think it's time that we head to bed. So, good night, ladies. Good night, See you Fritz. In the morning. See you tomorrow, Fritz. Avila Barn. So, um, how many vegetables and fruits are we getting? So, Fritz, you're going to get 15 apples. Didi, you'll get 16 bananas. Winston, you'll get 12 carrots. Charlie, you'll get 17 tomatoes. Buzz, you'll get 10 potatoes. And I'll get nine celeries. All right, then let's get them fruits. All right, how many have we got? I got 15 apples, 16 bananas, 12 carrots, 17 tomatoes, 10 potatoes, and I got nine celeries. So it looks like we should have enough fruits and vegetables for now. Now we're going to the Barnes & Noble bookstore in St. Louis to get some new books for the girls. Alright then, let's roll! Here we are, Barnes & Noble. So, uh... How many books are we getting, Mom? Well, we're not wanting you to get some books, Fritz. The girls wanted to come here because they wanted to see what they want to read. But you can get something if you want, Fritz. Either some books or records. Me and your father will be looking at some records, so we will see you in five minutes. Alright, Mom. We'll see you then. did you get? I got When the Wind Blows, The Polar Express, A Journey to the Center of the Earth, and A Christmas Carol. Very neat. Alright, sounds like something you wanted. So I think tonight we're going back out to Hot Shots and the Bowling Alley. But first we're heading home to get something cleared. But you're all having fun. Aren't you? Yeah, Mom, we are having fun. Man, I can't wait to go back out. I know, Fritz. So much fun. I agree. All right, you all ready to go? Yup, it looks like we are ready to go. Ready to play some arcade games and go bowling and everything. <laughs> sounds like you're excited, Fritz. So it sounds like you're ready to have more fun, Fritz. Alright then, let's go. What's the book about, Fritz? You mean, When the Wind Blows? 
Yeah. Well, it's the story of James and Hilda, Mr. and Mrs. Bloggs, an elderly couple who are caught up as collateral damage in a nuclear war. So what happens in the story? Well, at first, they try to prepare their isolated home for an atomic attack and subsequent fallout. Believing such a conflict might be like the conventional warfare, they understand. But soon, they become overwhelmed with radiation sickness. Poor couple. I know, it's sad. All right, all finished. All right, buddies. It looks like your father has finished playing billiards. This means we can all go out to the bowling alley now. You're all having a fun night, too. Alrighty then, let's roll. Nineteen forty five. What happened in nineteen forty five? Well, on August sixth to the ninth in nineteen forty five, America bombed the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Why, Fritz? Because America wanted Japan to surrender World War Two. And get this the bombings killed one hundred and twenty nine thousand and two hundred and twenty six thousand people, most of whom were civilians. Oh dear, that's not good. I know. People say that history has a strange way of repeating itself. Alright, my game's finished. It's your last turn, Fritz. Alright then. So far, so good. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it, Dee Dee? Have you taken flying lessons for school plays? Yeah, I think I remember that back when I was a junior. Well, you're going to be playing as a genie for a school play called Arabian Nights. Oh, uh, okay then. Do I have any lines? You only have one line. Genie does as you wish. Okay then. Well, I hope I do good. You'll do great, Fritz. I promise. <sighs> okay. So, how do I look, Dee Dee? You look great, Fritz. Thanks. Yeah, I just thought making a genie look more realistic would be a good idea. Here's a microphone. Well, thanks, Winston. Are you excited, Fritz? I hope so, Charlene. But how many acts are there? Three acts. So if you ever need help, we'll speak to you through the mic. All right, Fritz? Okay, Charlene. Well, it looks like I'm ready now. Welcome, friends! Alright. So, an audience is here to see a play called Arabian Nights. It's our show. Fritz is our genie, and we control his movements. Enjoy the show! Alright, here we go! <sighs> Life is tough. If only ever a prince like me could do something better than this... What's this junk? There's Fritz. He looks so cute. Are you a genie? Yes. Well, can I wish for anything I want? Genie does as you wish. Genie does as you wish. Can you fly? Genie does as you wish. Look, Buzz, he's flying. Yeah, I see. Could I wish to marry the princess? Genie does as you wish. Could I wish for unmatchable power? Genie does as you wish. 
Well, more than anything, I love to marry the princess, but she needs a prince, and a prince needs a palace. Genie, I wish for a palace. Genie does as you wish. Good job, Fritz. Act one is done. Now, act two. That was good. Yeah, but it's about to get better. This is the finest palace I've ever seen. Genie, I wish for the princess to be here by my side right now. Genie does as you wish. This is the most magnificent palace I've ever seen. Do you live in this big palace all by yourself? I do, Your Highness. Do you have any people that live with you? Just the servants. Well, please, Your Highness. I can't wait any longer. So, will you grace me with your hand in marriage? Of course, I will. All right, Genie. I wish to be married in this palace once and for all. Genie does as you wish. Excellent, Fritz. That's Act Two. Now the final act. Genie, thank you so much for making all my dreams come true. My pleasure, friend. Congratulations on everything you wished for. Hey, Fritz, do you want to fly for the final act? Sure thing, Charlene. Everybody is gathered, so let the ceremony begin. Well done, Fritz. It's over. You did good, Fritz. Congratulations. Man, that was awesome. Dee Dee, thank you so much for helping me at the play. You're welcome, Fritz. Any time, buddy. Always there for you, Fritz. Well, it looks like I'm just gonna listen to some Vola on the radio. You do what you want, Fritz. All right. We are now interrupting this broadcast to bring you a news bulletin. The deadly mad bomber, which was reported a few days ago about blowing up a straight alley in San Luis, has now been reported heading towards Pismo. Oh no! All residents are warned to evacuate until the criminal is captured. We now return to our regular broadcast of 98.5 The Fox. Gabriel, I'm gonna need your car. Fritz, you're coming with me. Okay, Dad.
Nice going, Bomber. You know, I've been looking for you for quite a while. And now I think it's time that we unmask you to see who you really are. <gasps> Lizzie? Why? Why would you do this, Lizzie? I'm sorry, Fritz. The reason why I did this is because there were a gang of bullies who came out of an alley and attacked me. I was forced to do this, Fritz. I had no choice. I understand, Liz. So my best guess is that you try to ignore the memories of what they did to you, but they always keep coming back? Is that why you began to go insane, Liz? That's right, Fritz. I'm sorry, ma'am. But I'm afraid you'll have to come with me because I am arresting you. Well, Fritz, it looks like I have to go now. Goodbye, Fritz. Goodbye, Lizzie. Man, <laughs> I'm starting to feel sorry for her dad. <laughs> come on, son. Let's go home. What's wrong, Fritz? Well, I got good news and sad news. The good news is that me and Dad caught the mad bomber. And the sad news? The sad news is that it turned out to be Aunt Lizzie. Oh, no. Oh, no is right. It just makes me even more... You know what I said before. Hung up? Strung out? And uptight again? Yep. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be in my room and be sick. Hey, um, Buzz? Can I talk to Fritz for a few minutes? Sure, Gabriel. Hi, Fritz. Hi, Mom. Listen... I'm sorry that the mad bomber turned out to be an lazy. That's okay. I should have known. Well, now with her gone, I guess I really miss her. I know you miss her so much, Fritz. But hey, at least you'll see her again sometime in the future. You just gotta believe me, okay, Fritz? Yeah, I suppose you're right, Mom. And to cheer you up more, we're going to see Fola tomorrow. What? Wait, we're going to see the band tomorrow? That's right, Fritz. Oh, okay then. Which reminds me, do you remember that I took stage flying lessons for school plays? Yeah, Fritz. And you remember my dad telling me that the band is going to need someone for the song Napalm. You know, for the 50 strings part, right? Yep. And hey, since you mastered your skills for flying in stage plays, do you want to fly for the band, Fritz? Yeah, because I think I have an idea. <sighs> Poor Fritz. He couldn't come because he had a lot of stuff to do. He's going to miss the show. Poor buddy. I guess he's not coming. Don't worry, guys. Even though Fritz might not be coming tonight, I brought my video camera with me. So he can still see the concert on camera. Okay, girls? 
Okay, Mom. He'll be okay, I promise. Hello, this one. But before we start playing, I want to tell something to this little fella right here. Hey, Didi, that's your name, right? Yes, Asger. Because I would like you to meet a lost soul for this show. Hi, Didi. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, but how do you know my name? <laughs>